Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. And in today's video, I want to show you a little bit more about your Wacom settings. So let me go ahead and open that up. Go to Launchpad, System Preferences, and my screen is already open, so it popped right up. Uh, if not, you go to this screen first, and go to your Wacom tablet there. Okay, so what I want to show you today, I've had this question a lot on the channel as far as how to get the pressure sensitivity or the settings just right. And I just wanted to show you my settings in here. I disable my pen because I constantly click the button, but you can enable these to whatever keystrokes or clicks that you like to save time. I know a lot of people that use them, but I just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm clumsy. I always hit the buttons and it uh, gets annoying real quick, so I disable those. All right, so um, I'm on the Wacom and Tools Touch right now. Uh, I also disable the touch. You can get in here and enable or disable that. Uh, I just don't like all the distractions. You know, I just want just the tablet, just the pen, and the eraser. Okay, so now the main thing that I want to show you here is that um, if you bear down and, and touch the screen right here and slowly press down, it shows your click pressure right there, current pressure, right? And if you adjust this all the way down to soft, you barely touch it, and it's going to go all the way to maximum. So that's if you got a very, very light hand. Uh, I tend to lean more towards the firm. Uh, because I, I have to bear down to get my lines, or I like when I have to, um, you know, slowly work up to the line pressure. Uh, so you can set it all the way to firm where you really have to bear down to get to maximum. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and show you the difference on, you know, something like uh, Photoshop here. And I'll use a uh, regular chalk brush. That way, if you don't have my brushes, you can easily uh, access this. Uh, keep in mind, I do have brushes available on my. Uh, um, Gumroad site, uh, some are free, some are paid, so you can check those out. Okay, and there'll be a uh, link in the description below. Okay, so basically, now with that setting, let me turn it all the way up to 100, 100 on flow and opacity. Um, so now with that setting, I can get a very light line. Like, I'm, I'm already pressing down pretty good, but then when I start to really bear down, I can get a heavy, you know, heavy line. And why is that? Oh, my layer's not set to full opacity, so let me fix that as well. So yeah, so light pressure, about 30% pressure, 50% pressure, 75, 100. You know, it, it's hard to actually <laughs> gauge exactly how far I'm pressing down. So you have to play around with the settings themselves and, uh, you know, figure out what works for you. Now the other benefit, or the other great thing that you can do in this uh, program is you can actually or this uh, driver, I should say, driver software for the tablet, you can actually program it to different uh, softwares. Um, they won't show up unless they're active, um, I believe, but let me see. You just add it like this. You would click whatever whatever program you want to add. Uh, let me actually start, uh, let's see, Manga Studio here and see if that, that should show up in the, the dialog box now. And I don't see it popping up here. Why is that? Oh, I'm sorry. So I've got it preset for my Cintiq, but you can also set these up uh, based on whatever tablet you have hooked up. So essentially what you can do here is add the program in, uh, and then each one of these you can program the settings. See how it jumped when I went from Manga Studio to Photoshop? Uh, because I use different settings in those. And I also use different settings for when I'm inking, versus drawing versus painting. Uh, see, I've even got a different setup for sketchbook. They all just feel a little bit different. So I think that's very important to address with you guys and let you know. So if you see me working from one program to the next and you think I'm getting results that you're not getting, uh, there's a good chance that it's in there. Now the other thing to keep in mind, and I've touched on this quite a bit, but you know, I'll address it while we're here, is also the shape dynamics. Pen pressure, angle jitter, you know, you could set both of these. Uh, for this particular brush, I just have it to Shape Dynamics and Transfer. And that's what gives me this nice little, you know, kind of pencil, almost like a pencil look. So that's another part of how you get that thick to thin line like that. Now, the other thing that um, I want to show you is that when you go in here, oh, let's get back there again, um, that the, uh, the tablets themselves, you know, can have their own settings, like I just mentioned, but then the programs can have their own settings. And then you also calibrate your setup. So 
for instance, if you go to then Tools 5 Touch, if you go to Mapping, you got to make sure that this is mapped properly. Uh, you know, I used, you know, you can see right here, Portion, Force Proportions. So I'm not using the whole area of my tablet. Um, you can actually tell because right on my tablet, it's wore down right here where I use the heck out of it. So, but if it's not mapped to the screen, like you're seeing here in a force proportion scale, you're not going to get the lines that you're after. You're not going to get the control that you're after. So I'm going to show you a quick example. If I take the Intuos um, 5 and I draw a circle, for instance, um, well, for one, if I'm having to bear down too hard like, like I am right there, I'm going to get less of a perfect circle as well. So let me show you that. So I'm trying to get a circle, trying to get a circle. Get close, not really accurate. You know, I can't even connect the line on most of them. Uh, but I know that it's not based off my force proportions. That one's closer, I guess. So, And this is the other thing. The smaller it is, the closer I'm going to probably get. Because the mechanics of the way that I'm having to draw on this tablet... Now, on the Cintiq, uh, I can do this, you know, a lot easier and it'll probably a lot bigger circle because I can see my hand. It's up on the screen. I can uh, position off my the back of my uh, hand or whatever. So there's different mechanics involved. So what I'm saying is be aware that with the this, the lap, uh, I call it a lap tablet because I got a, the Intuos Touch sitting on my lap. Uh, that's the way I like to use it. Some people might like it on a table in front of them. Again, that's a mechanics issue that you have to figure out about yourself. And then also the way that you draw. So for me, it's going to be a lot harder. Well, I got lucky there, but it's obviously not a perfect circle. Um, to, to do a bigger circle and get it to connect. I mean, now with practice, you're going to eventually get better at it. And you'll, you'll get it over time. I mean, it doesn't seem like it at first, but... You'll, you'll get better and better. It's just repetition. So there's, and this is on the Tools 5. That's a pretty decent circle. Just a little racing and adjusting, whatever. Um, but I'm probably going to stand a better chance of getting uh, a better circle um, with practice, because <laughs> these are horrible, uh, from a distance doing smaller uh, pulls on this type of tablet. So I would say mess around with the, the way that you judge, the way that you create something, Based on distance, some things you got to get up close to, and you got to be real uh, work larger or whatever. And then you might be feeling a little bit awkward there. That's where you may have to get in and use some of the other tools that are provided to help along with the the illustration process until you get the freehand skills down. They will come over time, uh, but it does take a lot of conditioning and a lot of time for that type of tablet. Uh, that's why you do end up spending more money with the Cintiq. It's it's kind of a more of an immediate approach but you have to justify the cost with what you're making with the device you know you can't just run out and buy it because you think it's cool that just wouldn't make sense you know so um so what else um as far as mechanics i just want to make sure that you understand that there's other ways to get around it like uh for instance i i find that i paint better on the the uh in tools 5 i've got paintings on my channel that you can see and some of my best paintings are off the in tools 5 touch now the reason being is that when you're when you're painting? Um, I don't want to do a full-on demonstration here, but I'll I'll just show you something real quick. Or you know, back to the pressure part because that's that's a big part of it as well. So say I'm trying to draw a face real quick, and this is on the uh, in Tools Five, and it's a profile, so profiles are pretty easy. And you know, I'll just try to get a quick I don't know, girl's face just sitting there, nothing too extravagant. Oh, that's ugly. And I should probably, and I should have threw down some base lines to uh, to work up to it. And that's another thing that you know helps when you work on something that you're less comfortable with. You you just give yourself more sketch lines to work up to, and that's where it lends itself to painting because you kind of paint in that regard. You work up to your forms. So this tablet does really well. Now the problem that I'm experiencing right now um, with this ugly sketch. Uh, is that I'm, I'm having to press too hard to get a line. So it's actually affecting my artwork and making it harder for me to produce this otherwise really simplistic uh, sketch. So let me show you why it helps to be aware of that um, and get into your settings and go back to, uh, we're still in the tools five, go back to the pen 
And yeah, I got it all the way. I still have it all the way to firm. So that's why I'm, I'm having to work really hard to put down those lines. And I don't want that. So let me turn the pressure back down. Let's let's go middle of the row. See what I get. Oh, make sure I'm back on the brush there. Okay, so now this is the same brush. Look how big it is. You know. So now I'm putting down no pressure and getting just a fat line almost instantaneously. So what I would do there is compensate by sizing the brush down. Remember I use the bracket keys to scale those down. I want to get it to where I'm just getting, you know, the thickest uh, part of the line that I want with full pressure and still able to lighten up and get a nice light line. And maybe that's too far. Maybe I could just step that back one more and go to here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now it's a totally different feel. And obviously I can't convey the way that it feels. You just have to, um, you know, see what works for you. But then now I feel like I'm, I'm drawing a lot more natural. You know, like it's not, I'm not having to bear down to get my lines. And in turn, my art should look a little bit better. I'm not saying it will, but we'll see. Um, and the other thing is I just drew this face. I'm drawing it a second time, so it's going to get better. That's, those are all, that's, that's pretty much the way that your artwork will work, you know, that through repetition, through refinement, you'll get better and better. Your, your device or whatever you're using, uh, you'll figure it out more and more and you'll get better. Um, it's not just going to, uh, there's no, you know, answer to the riddle. There's no magic uh, answer here to this other than you just have to play with the settings, uh, work really hard at it, put in lots of time and then you know, these, uh, these things will start to figure themselves out or you'll figure them out. Um, yeah, see, and this still isn't great. but I, And I still feel a touch like I'm still having to work a little too hard to put down the lines that I want to see. So back again, go there. You know, and this is where saving these settings are so great. You know, when, when you uh, get your program feeling the way that you want, then save it like that. And, then, and that's why I really like uh, using... The other programs like I do because I can actually uh, save you know I do pr predominantly most of my sketching and sketchbook uh, most of my painting in Photoshop and most of my comic illustration in Manga Studio so I could literally save those and be ready to go um, with their various settings uh, my mouth is ugly and it's getting worse but what I'm going after here is just the feeling that I'm not having to bear down too hard to get the line that I want uh, and then also sizing up the brush so that, you know, maybe I get a, uh, a more more of a variance from my thick to thin line. You can tell I need to work on faces today. Um, now, the other thing that I think uh, is worth uh, mentioning is that, okay, like, if you don't feel the control, like you see right there, I'm having a hard time going uh, left to right with my uh, my uh, brush stroke there, right? So there's a couple ways to approach that. Uh, one, I can just keep soft erasing, and I can keep trying to do these quick pulls, uh, which I see a lot of people do. And a lot of people get really good at these, and you get a really nice uh, cleansliness to your work. Uh, this is what I do. I, I do that a little bit, uh, and I find myself doing it more. But... Uh, what I do is I actually hold rot uh, R on the screen, rotate it, and on the end, tools 5, I can always do a little bit better with a downward pull. And again, this goes back to understanding your mechanics as an artist and, and what your strong suits are. So if I was to do a line going straight down, I can make it look pretty straight, especially with some speed. Uh, a quick pull, I can get a nice straight line. I can almost do it left to right, but it, a lot less control. You know, I don't know where it's going to end up. Here, I can almost put a dot, a dot, and almost, you know, hit it. And with practice, I, I probably could. I need to do this. And this is another exercise. So um, if you're trying to strengthen your ability, go for basic shapes. Uh, study, you know, study forms like, you know, faces and obviously everything else like that you're supposed to study when you're drawing anyways. But I'm sorry, I'm wanting to work on this face because it's pretty bad. Uh, but do this effect where you draw two dots, you know, try to try to hit it, various angles, quick, you know, quick pulls, you know, it's kind of, and then control Z is your, or command Z on a Mac or whatever you're using, um, is like your best friend with this stuff, you know, 
and you'll you'll quickly realize where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are if you don't already know uh, with the way that you pull your lines. Like you tell, this is harder for me, uh, or I can tell. <laughs> and then you know, because if it's easy for you, you're not only going to hit the line, you're going to go right through it. Uh, you're not going to put a, an unnecessary or unintentional curve through it like I'm doing there. So this is definitely my yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that's bad. All right, there, I almost got it. Sheesh. Um, now, one last thing I'll leave you with, too. One last tip for added control on the uh, the device, uh, the, the Wacom tablet, is uh, I'm going to go ahead and set a piece of paper on the, the tablet now. And a lot of people aren't aware that you can do this. And uh, it's going to give a little bit more resistance to the pen tip. So you can basically take... A uh, piece of paper, tape it over the top, you know, wrap it around the edges, whatever you got to do. And now you'll notice, or hopefully you can notice, but it's it's hard, you know, since you can't see what I'm doing. But I've got a little bit more friction, so it's slowing down my drawing. You can probably hear it. Can you hear this? Um, and also keep in mind, I use the, uh, the felt tips. I don't even use anything else uh, on my tablet. Um or my uh, my pen tips or whatever so I use these felt tips and that with the paper over top gives me just a little bit more of a resistance that feels like I'm sketching on paper so uh, you know just another FYI thing there for you to hopefully help you out so at any rate that's about it other than that it's tons and tons of practice and and just really getting a feel for it don't give up and don't don't think that it's uh, that you can't do it with that particular tablet. Like I've said plenty of times on this uh, channel, uh, I've seen some amazing, amazing work uh, come off these bi these regular tablets as well. So you can get it. It's just going to take a while. Um, and uh, you know, and and if nothing else, just work hard with that tablet, and then work up and get yourself a uh, you know Cintiq or whatever Surface Pro or whatever's out there. You know. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this has been beneficial for you. If it has, be sure to like, share, all that fun stuff. And let me know what you'd like to see on the channel in the future. I uh, bring new content every week. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And more stuff is on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.